Hello students, welcome to the new episode from George Biology. From here after, on every Saturday, we are going to discuss about the questions from the topic which we have completed in this entire week, where you will get 20 questions which are very, very important and that too from the NCRT liners and from the previous year questions. And here, if you haven't completed those topics, I have placed that in the description. You can check onto the link and you can watch the video and you can attempt the test. And before starting the session, if you like the video, please do subscribe the channel, like and share and comment. This will give me an additional boosting where I can give some more good content over here and good implementation of discussions. Let's start with the discussion. Who first observed and described a living cell? Sladen, Schwann, Robert Hooke, Ante von Leeuwenhoek. That is Ante von Leeuwenhoek. Number two. Choose the incorrect statement with respect to main arena of plants and animals. It has various cell organelles. It is double membrane bound structure having double stranded circular DNA. It occupies the volume of cell. It is a semi-fluid matrix. So what is given here? Incorrect statement with respect to the main arena of plant and animals. That is cytoplasm. In case of plant and animals, the cytoplasm is covered by plasma membrane and it does not consist double-stranded circular DNA. So the answer is second option. Number three. A cell is a structural, functional and fundamental unit of living organisms. One of the reason is that it performs all the essential functions of life. It is always independent of other cells. It synthesized its own food from inorganic substances. It is a semi-fluid matrix. So what is that which is suitable here? It performs all the essential functions of life due to which we call it as structural, functional and fundamental unit of living organisms. Who proposed the hypothesis that the bodies of plant and animals are composed of cells and their products? Number one, Leeuwenhoek. Number two, Sladen. Number three, Virchow. Number four, Schwann. That is fourth option. Number five, multiplication rate will be maximum in which of the following? RBC cells or else red blood cells, amoeba, paramecium, bacteria. That is bacteria. Number six, select the wrong match. Gas vacuole found in blue green algae. Chromatophores occurs in prokaryotes. Pili helps in movement of bacteria. Cytoplasm, main arena of cellular activity. So what's a suitable answer? That is third option. Number seven. Formation of polysomes is a characteristic feature of nucleoplasm of eukaryotes, both nucleoplasm and cytoplasm of eukaryotes, cytoplasm of prokaryotes only cytoplasm of both prokaryotes and eukaryotes so what is that which is suitable here presence of polysomes it's a characteristic feature of both prokaryotes and eukaryotes that is fourth option which is suitable here and what are the other different terms of polysomes it is also called as ergosome or else it is also called as polyribosomes. Number 8. Which one is not a double membrane bound cell organelle? Lysosome, plastids, nucleus, mitochondria. What is that? Lysosome. It's a single membrane bound. Question number 9. What is the outermost layer of cell envelope in prokaryotic cell? Number one, plasma membrane. Number two, mesosomes. 
नंबर थ्री ग्लाइकोकेलिक्स एंड नंबर फोर सेल वॉल दट इज ग्लाइकोकेलिक्स सो हियर इन द सेल एनवेलप सिस्टम इफ यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग द इनमोस्ट लेयर इज प्लास्मा मेम्ब्रेन फॉलोड बाय सेल वॉल फॉलोड बाय ग्लाइकोकेलिक्स so this is the order from inside to outside question number 10 select the odd one with respect to functions of mesosome number 1 helps in cell wall formation number 2 helps in dna replication helps in respiration secretion process helps in formation of inclusion bodies so what's the suitable answer here odd one is asked it helps in formation of inclusion bodies which of the following structure is absent in plant cells but present in animal cells large sap vacuole cell wall centrosome plastids so what is that which is absent in plant cells that is centrosome or centrioles also you can say a pair of centriole with centroplasm is called as centrosome next one select the wrong statement from the following ribosomes are organelle within the organelle egg of ostrich is the largest isolated single cell genetic material is present in well defined nucleus in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes the shape of the cells may vary with the functions they perform what is answer third option genetic material is present in well defined nucleus in the eukaryotes not in the prokaryotes a bacterial flagellum is composed of inclusion bodies filament hook filament hook basal body filament mesosome basal body filament cell wall cell membrane what's a suitable answer second option filament hook and basal body animal cells differ from plant cells as they lack plastids centrosome cell wall or both 1 and 3 animal cell that does not consist plastid as well as cell wall that is fourth option which is suitable inclusion bodies of blue green purple and green photosynthetic bacteria are microtubules contractile vacuole centrioles gas vacuole that is gas vacuole The concept of omnicellular e cellula regarding cell division was first proposed by Rudolf Virchow, Theodor Schwann, Schleiden, Aristotle. That is Rudolf Virchow. Next question. Which of the following components provides sticky character to the bacterial cell? Cell wall nuclear membrane plasma membrane glycocalyx the suitable answer that is glycocalyx number 18 many ribosomes may associate with a single mrna for multiple copies of a polypeptide simultaneously such string of ribosomes are termed as very simple ones already we have discussed on the top also number 1 polysome number 2 polyhedral bodies number 3 nucleosome number 4 plastidome single mrna having many ribosomes what is that polysome which one of the following cell organelle is enclosed by a single membrane 
nuclei, mitochondria, chloroplast, lysosome. On the top also, a near reflection of similar question has been given. You can answer it very quickly. Nuclei, mitochondria, chloroplast, lysosome. The suitable answer is lysosome. Next question. Which one of the following is not an inclusion body found in prokaryotes? Once again, right, we have got a similar type of question. Polysome, phosphate granule, sinophysian granule, glycogen granule. So, phosphate granule, sinophysian granule, glycogen granule. They come under inclusion body. Here, the suitable answer is polysome. So, that's all for the question discussion in today's session. In the next session, we will come up with good number of questions based on the NCRT liners and previous year questions. Thank you.